Hey everybody, this is your boy Angel. Hope and pray that you're having a blessed day. I know I am. So guys, I want to show you guys something that I've been using. I'm having a ton of fun with it. It's one of my favorite decks. I know you hear me say that a lot, but this really, really is one of my favorite decks, especially before the new uh, Master Rule 4 came into play. But it's uh, Cyber Dragons, and trust me, they're still viable, guys. These things can still OTK like a madman. Uh, I want to show you guys what I'm working with. Also, I'm going to have a, a few combos to show you that this, not only can this deck go first, it can set up really crazy boards, as well as some uh, big boards that you can set up just in case you don't get the OTK uh, going second as well. So let's get into it. First off, running Triple Cyber Dragon, Heart and Soul of the deck, got to run it at three, non-negotiable. Then next, Triple Cyber Dragon Dry. Uh, this allows me to drop this and make all my Cyber Dragons I currently control, level 5, so you know, we'll make a, a quick uh, Cyber Dragon Nova into Infinity. And then, most important monster in the deck, Cyber Dragon Core, this searches out your Cyber Repair Plan. You can banish when you uh, control no monsters and uh, your opponent controls monsters, and be able to get one of your Cyber Dragons right out of your deck. Um, really, it's really, really, honestly, like I said, this is the bread and butter, this is really, really what makes the deck run, so this is essential. That's it for the Cyber Dragons. You're basically running nine Cyber Dragons because they all count the Cyber Dragon names in the graveyard and on the field. Then next up, we're running this guy to run the Triple Galaxy Soldier guys. Really, in my opinion, it's not you know, a negotiable thing at all either. Um, this really uh, helps you make up your, your bust of rank five plays. Adds so much consistency to the deck. And when it, really, when this card was first announced you know, two years ago, first thing I thought was Cyber Dragon. So, got to run that. Then next up, running Double Gamma Seal because we are still running the Kaiju package, just not quite the same as we used to. Uh, double Gamma Seal and then uh, Double Just Kaiju. Now, Double Just Kaiju because I can search this out as well. And also when I resolve my slumber, it gives me a, you know, a big, huge body on the field, uh, whatever to whatnot, be able to run over the Gamma Seal, etc. And also, I, we can still good, have the good old you know, search uh, Just Kaiju. Uh, Kaiju over my opponent's problem monster. And then I can be able to go into like a, a Cameratech Fortress Dragon, uh, and that's still viable. So once again, just that right there. And then finally, uh, run out with the one maxi because it's the best card in the game. Moving on to our spells. We're on a triple power bond, win condition of the, of the deck. Um, this is really, really what you want to get to. I don't run any of the other fusion spells because in my opinion, frankly, it's not that good. Um, you know, overload fusion is just not really that great. You want to get into uh, your power bomb play. You resolve your power bomb, get into your rampage dragon, uh, and you actually resolve rampage dragon. Chances are you're going to win the game. It's just you know an insurmountable amount of damage. Uh, so you really want to get to that as quick as possible. So run a triple power bomb. I like to run triple cyber repair plant because it's really what keeps your consistency up. I know some lists I've seen run two, uh, but you know just for me, I, I like to run the, the three because we are also playing part of desires in this. So you don't want to necessarily banish both of them. But and also this really does keep your consistency going. This keeps you seeing pieces that you want to see constantly. So to me, this is a standard at three, just my opinion. And then we're going to run the triple machine dupe. Same reason I run it at three. Keeps the consistency up. Keeps me being able to flood the board, uh, make plays, and uh, actual viable plays. That, you know that you know game winning plays that can actually do something in affect the game state. Um, like I said, running at three. Uh, it's part of uh, some of the combos I'm going to show you. Uh, and as I said, we're running desires. We don't want to banish all of our pieces. So I like to run that. Just at the three. Uh, what's that? I have my sister holding the camera, guys. <laughs> so, hey, sis, say hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> this is her first time holding the camera. So, if you see the, the camera moving around a little bit on you, no. hey, <laughs> this is her first time. Good shout out. Then we're running uh, Triple Pot of Desires. Uh, we know why. Excellent card. You know, I don't care who says what, criticizes it. You got to run Pot of Desires if you know what you're doing in this game nowadays. Uh, double uh, Twin Twister so you can you know blow through back row so you can you know, resolve your uh, Rampage Dragon plays or just be able to go into your standard Cyber Dragon plays. Uh, double Instant Fusion, staple, um, play extender, play starter in this deck, got to have it. And finally, blow out cards, got the one Slumber, the one Rageki, and the one Limiter Removal. And then uh, we run the one Upstart Goblin, so as I said, we want to be able to get and see our pieces sooner. The one Foolish Burial because it gets play started and find the one Soul Charge. Uh, just in case we, uh, you know, necessarily we can see that we're not going to have an OTK, but we uh, understand that we have, you know, pieces in the graveyard so we can maybe make and establish a big board. So that's it for the main deck. For the extra deck, we're running double Cyber Dragon Infinity cards broken. It's been broken since it came out. It's probably never going to stop being broken. Need to run it. <laughs> it's just an excellent card all around. Uh, still got the original secrets. Uh, love, love these cards. Never traded either one of those that I got out of the uh, original uh, boxes. Double Cyber Dragon Nova, because you can't have your Infinity without your Nova play. And sometimes, you know, it being destroyed by uh, a battle of card effect, etc., uh, and you be able to get a free fusion monster out comes up. I've actually done that in testing uh, so far, and uh, it's really, really good. 
And then we're going to run Castella Pleiades to round out the Xyz monsters because it's, it's busted. Castella Pleiades is actually really, it's still really, really solid, especially in link format. You know, especially, you know, and with the spirals, they go into their double helix, just bounce that right on back. Too good. It, that is if you can get over the resort. <laughs> Next up, best card in your extra deck. As far as I'm concerned, you've got Maritech, Rampage, Dragon, guys. You make this, especially power bonded out. Uh, they can't do anything about it. You are going to win the game. It's going to come out 4,200, be able to attack three times. It's just way too much. And then it can, um, what, it, what it does, guys, if you, just in case you don't know the backstory on uh, Rampage Dragon, you uh, when it's a uh, Spiritual Summon, it, I can send um, uh, machine-type monsters from my deck to my graveyard, and then I can add the tax equal to the number of mach uh, machine-type monsters I send from my deck to my graveyard uh, when that effect uh, uh, resolves. So basically it becomes a 4200 beach stick with power bond that can attack three times and also pop cards on the field equal to the number of um, uh, machine type monsters I sent to the graveyard. So it's just it's way too good. Then run one brand new Mega Fleet Dragon. Excellent card all around guys. Um, been testing this and it, it really really works. It's, it's such a good card. Gets over your right over your opponents. You know uh, especially with Link uh, being here. Gets right over you know your broken Link monsters etc. Your firewall dragons. Uh, stuff like that, and, and now we're going to the double helix era, so this right here is essential. Uh, one is fine, though. You don't need to run it at more than that. Uh, Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon, we cut this to one because it doesn't really come up as much as it used to, um, uh, you know, post-Link era, so just the one. Uh, one Cyber End Dragon because it, it comes up occasionally. just good to have it in the toolbox. One pair of Psychroid because you can actually power bind into this for game, and it's also a level 5 uh, fusion target for uh, instant fusion. $1,000 Restrict. Um... Thousand Dollars Restrict comes up because what I can do with Thousand Dollars Restrict, guys, I can actually go um, suck up a problem monster with Thousand Dollars Restrict and then uh, be able to go out into like a Mega Fleet Dragon or possibly even a Deco Talker play if I have a play extender. So this this does come up and it's been working really well for me. Uh, the one Barbaroid, just in case I want to destroy my Nova and get it out. Uh, so, so solid. And then the one uh, Panda Dragon, because once again, uh, you can either. Uh, Instant fusion this, uh, let it resolve, be destroyed at the end phase, and then pop a card on the field um, with that. Or, but, you know, your most practical use is it uh, to be able to make your uh, Cyber Dragon uh, Infinity plays, etc. And then finally, the one Deco Talker, because we're going to get into a combo where you, can have, where you can have this and two Cyber Dragons. And once again, Deco Talker, in my opinion, right now is the. It, 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 it's, in terms of just, you know, most accessible Link Monster is the best one. So that, that finishes out that. Let's get into a couple combos real quick. So. But there's a little bit of a myth with this deck that it can't go first. I'm going to show you everybody that that's a lie. So I'm going to show you what you're going to do. I'm going to show you a quick combo that you can really pull off, and it's going to be able to make you <laughs> one heck of a board. All right. So if I go first with this deck, what I want to do, I want to have access to my core, Instant Fusion, Duke, Duke, and Galaxy Soldier. So we're going to show you what you can do with this deck going first, just in case your opponent catches wise that you're, you're trying to play Cyber Dragon OTK and blow them out turn, uh, on your um, second turn. So, getting into it. So what you want to do, you want a Cyber Dragon Core, then you're going to search out. Your Repair Plant. Bring it to your hand. Then we're going to go Machine Duke. Or two Cyber Dragons, obviously. And then since dupe is not a hard once per turn at all, I can dupe again. And then let's get to our last cyber dragon. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these. Remember, you don't want to link these uh, five uh, level fives or these three level fives right here. You want to link one, two, and three. You go right in to your deco talker. Then you're going to instant fuse for your Panzer Dragon. Overlay, go into your Nova. Go into your Nova. Before I even detach, what I want to do, resolve my Cyber Repair Plant. Then I can search. Now that if you look, you're going to have three Cyber Dragons engraved. And so now you can resolve and sequence both the Cyber Repair Plant's effects. So that being number one. I can go search for a light, uh, machine type monster for my deck, and then number two, I can put one of my cyber dragons from my graveyard back into my deck. And so what I would normally want to do is, I just want to search out a light machine target, and then I really want to return a level five cyber dragon because I want to keep my core in graveyard just in case 
or my opponent comes up with something, and then I'll be able to banish a core and get something on the field still. So I want to put it back in graveyard. First of all, we're going to search. Normally another core, because having them in graveyard at this point is the best thing. And then I'm going to put my big cyber dragon back into my deck. There's that. Now, I'm going to detach. Since I have a legal, legal Cyber Dragon target, I can either get this one or just bring this one back. My Nova effect. Then, what I want to do is Galaxy Soldier, discarding the core and using Galaxy Soldier effect to search. Then you can get out another Galaxy Soldier. Now, this one in your hand is at this point kind of not relevant, but you don't need it to be because now you're set up to where you want to be. We're going to overlay for this again. Loading myself, detach once again, bring it back, and then you're going to finish with infinity, infinity. So now you have two negates, deco talker to be able to stop any, your stuff from being targeted, etc. Obviously, by tripping, and then you're going to have double a cyber dragon infinity package set up like that. And then, just in case, we're going second, I'm going to show you a real quick combo where you can make the same board if you don't have the OTK hand, and you might as well just be an OTK hand. So, if I open up, say something like this. Cyber Dragon, Core, Dupe, Fusion, and a Galaxy Soldier. Basically the same basic principle, but now I can just do a little bit more. So what I can do, especially this is uh, all right, five card variant, and then what I really love to have is normally a kaiju or something like that to get over. So let's just say, instead of just kaiju, let's just say we have our gamma seal. So now what we can do is gamma seal over a, a problem monster, but you don't necessarily need the gamma seal in this hand. You're going to cyber dragon, especially some of your cyber dragon, you're going to go core, effect, search. We got the fresh search here, we don't like the. You know, put all that you know scripted stuff here, guys. You like to go through the real thing. First, have a repair plant. I'm sorry, guys, shuffling a mistake. And you're gonna dupe. To your cyber dragons. This is why I love machine duplication after reading the deck because I really, really like to see it. If I see it, uh, guys, you know, within my core, I can really, really pull out some stupid stuff. Send that there. Then, I'm going to link it off. And once again, all this is just in case you don't, you see that you're not going to be able to OTK, whatnot, etc. And, you know, you might not have the power bond in your hand, but you open up without it. There's so much you can do as well. Both of these um, little uh, combo tutorials, that is. So we're going to have our Deco Talker with our Cyber Dragon linked up. And then we're going to Instant Fusion. Same thing. The Panzer Dragon. And then we just go through the whole rigmarole. Your Nova. Or even better, Resolve Your Repair Plant. Just get a light machine target. Let's say we can get dry. We can get, like I said, though, preferably core. What's that? And what we want to do detach. Bring back your dragon soldier. Search out your soldier. Overlay. Detach. Bring back your dragon. And then overlay infinity, infinity. And then we can pretty much just suck up anything that's a problem, even if your opponent has like another face up monster. And then this right here is actually OTK without even using your power bond right here. So, alright, guys, this has been your boy Angel. 
Thank you for tuning in. I just wanted to, you know, kind of show you um, my, uh, you know, modern spin on the old deck, show you it's still viable in link format. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. It can still, you know, blow your opponent out in one turn. And it's not necessarily just, you know, go second dot deck where you just have to kind of rely and see what your opponent sets and whatnot and be at the mercy of them. Uh, you know, after he sets up his board, you don't have to do that. You can make up, you still make insane boards. Uh, really, really hard to crack boards, guys, and uh, really make it uh, hard for your opponent to win first turn. So, this has been your boy Angel. Hope you enjoyed the profile. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. Any criticism that you guys have, critiques, constructive criticism, things like that, guys. Suggestions, leave it down in the comment section. And may the good Lord bless you. Peace.